I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. In part 5 of Sharpening a One Man Crosscut Saw, I showed you a couple of ways to set the teeth. One of them involves using a Morel saw set. This is a number 4 Morel saw set. It was patented in 1890. It's a uh, saw set for larger saws like the crosscut. It has a couple of adjustments, one of them being the anvil, the other one being the guard. Pretty simple setup, and I'll walk you through the steps. If you go to Chest of Books, they have a very good description of how a uh, moral saw set works. And I'm going to put a link down in the description. And when I'm talking about the saw set, I'm going to use the words that they use to describe the parts. This is called the anvil, and it's marked B on the drawing. It's movable up and down, and you set the, this depending upon where you want to have the tooth bent. Further down, deeper down in the tooth. Further up, higher on the tooth up to the point where there's hardly any bend at all. We don't, want, we don't want to go clear up at the tip of the tooth. We want to come down here. On this big saw tooth, we want to be about a third of the way down the tooth and that's about as far as this saw set will take. So, the anvil is now set. Part B is now set. Looking at the teeth, that would be the base. So we want to be less, we want to be about here. The anvil has this point here where the tooth bends against it. The guard sets how much of an angle there is between the contact point here and the end of the tooth. By moving the guard further forward, you increase the amount of set by changing this angle to be larger. It makes it, the end of the tooth bend over further. I flip the saw around, I just go along and do the other side. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click like and you can subscribe to Old Sneelock's Workshop and see all the videos of tips and tricks and shortcuts that I've come up with over the years.